Hey what's up guys it's Neil here again with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how you can cast any audio from your Mac to your television using your Chromecast. So in order to do this all you need is a Chromecast and these two particular applications that we're going to be installing. The first is Soundflower and the second is the actual app we'll be interacting with called Soundcast. Now Soundflower, as I mentioned, you won't be interacting with, but as per the developer, allows redirection of the system audio output as a system audio input. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but what he basically told me is that it allows this application or his application that he created to function and work with your Chromecast. So let's just go ahead and install these two applications onto your device. Alright, so I have successfully installed Soundflower and Soundcast. Now all I need to do now is just open Soundcast. Now if you take a look at my menu bar, it should add a icon up here for Soundcast. There you go. Now all you have to do is play some audio. Maybe you're listening to some Spotify, which you can't cast on your Chromecast normally. And you just play it and it should show up on your television. And just so you're aware, this will cast any audio. So if you have more than one audio source, like let's say I'm playing a song on YouTube and I'm playing some Spotify, you'll be able to hear both of them. Now it won't sound good, but it will allow you to play both of them. And you can control the volume just as you would normally on your TV or on the Mac itself. Unfortunately, the display on the Chromecast is kind of ugly it just shows what you're seeing now this square box moving around a square sorry a gray background now hopefully that gets improved with some updates so definitely keep in touch with the developer and his thread which you can check out using the guide over at gadget hacks so that's basically it when you want to stop casting just click up here in the menu bar and hit stop casting this will be really convenient for those apps that aren't compatible with Chromecast like Spotify, maybe you're using SoundCloud to listen to some disc tracks, or maybe you're playing a game and just want to fully immerse yourself in all the sounds and noises within that game while you're playing on your Mac. Go ahead and do so with this application. And if you want to find out how to make it start as soon as you boot up your device, because anytime you restart your computer it won't be available in the menu bar, check out the guide over at Gadget Hacks. It's really quick. You just add it to your startup applications and it'll stay up there in your status bar anytime your Mac restarts. So it's really useful if you're going to be using this frequently. So definitely check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome, very useful Gadget Hack videos. Thanks guys.